Anyone can make a game. Yes, you heard right. Making a game is hard. There are 3D modeling, software, scenario, light, composition, optimization, and many more details. But like everything else, there's an easy way to make a game. Maybe you can't make a very professional game that will make millions of dollars, but you can make an exploration-based game with lots of puzzles. In this video, I will quickly show you how you can do this. The game engine we will use will be Unreal Engine. You can download the application from epicgames.com and have Unreal Engine. I assume you have downloaded it. We will install another package that will speed up the work with Unreal Engine. It's called Horror Engine. This is an add-on that will allow you to make a horror game from start to finish. We install the plugin to Unreal Engine by clicking Create Project. Then we type Landscape Pro 2.0 in the search box from the Marketplace section and integrate the package on the page that opens into our Horror Engine project. In the Library section, we can click on the Horror Engine project and start making games. Horror Engine has everything you need to create your game and storyline. With this kit, you will have endless possibilities and combinations for your story. Determine your rules and create your custom horror events without editing any code or blueprint. We will talk about this in detail later. Now let's prepare the area where our game will take place. Let's create a new level first. I created a new folder in the content folder. I right-clicked inside and added a new level. We click on the file named Level 1 we created. And we go into it, it's empty, let's add something. First of all, we need a floor. We switch to landscape mode. We don't need a very big area for now. We need to choose a material for the floor. We select the material named M Landscape Pro V2 from the material section. We can press create now. It's still too dark. Let's add some light. I'll use the Good Sky plugin for lighting. All links will be in the description. We drop the BP Good Sky component in the blueprint folder in the Good Sky folder to our scene. We also need a sun. If we click on the plus button at the top, we can access many components that we will add to our scene. We select directional light from the lights tab. We need to show Good Sky that our sun is this light. We've got landscape. We've adjusted the lights, but we still can't see anything. We need to make one more small adjustment. My mistake, old age. We return to landscape mode and click to the paint tab. We need to specify a layer to the material we assigned before. The material we use is multi-layered, so this setting must be made. Now the landscape is ready. Let's reduce the sunlight a little and give it a night look. We add a component to the scene to ensure that the light spreads evenly. Post-process volume. It is enough to make two settings here for now. We make the settings from the Details tab. We add exponential height fog to give a foggy image. You can make your settings according to your own wishes. Yes, our scene is not bad at all, but it looks very empty. We need some trees to make it a forest. We select foliage from selection mode. There are trees we can use in the package we downloaded. Let's choose three trees as I show. Let's not forget to tick the trees we have selected. Now a semicircle has formed on the screen. Let's place our trees with mouse left click without making any settings. Now it's time to move around in this forest. Let's go to the content drawer and enter the horror engine folder and drag the horror engine class to the stage. Now press the play button on top. Oh, Leia! We're in the game! Now for the story. Let's say we are a detective. We were asked to find a man lost in the forest. So we come to the forest and start investigating. We will have a vehicle in the second chapter. Otherwise, how would we get to the forest, right? We'll dive deeper into the horror engine settings. We'll add clues to help us solve the case. We will also include the person we are looking for in the game. See you in the second part and many more videos. If you click the subscribe button, and if you like the video, I would appreciate it if you click the like button. See you in the restaurant at the end of the universe.